Ducks fans, you may know him from his time leading Oregon and lighting it up in Autzen Stadium. Maybe you recognize him from his Super Bowl bling, a member of the world champion Steelers and Ravens. Or maybe you've had the honor of being coached or trained by the founder of Dixon Fit, where he's helping young QBs and everyday people get to work to be their best selves. Dennis Dixon is here yet again. Thanks for coming back for week yes, two. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm oh, excited. Absolutely. You're stuck with us now, yes, my friend. Anyway, yes. <laughs> so week two, we're talking about the Titans each and every week. You're going to give us keys to the game. Yeah. And so first key this week, the Seahawks did a really good job slowing down Jonathan Taylor and the Colts run game in week one. Now they've got Derrick Henry in week two when the Titans come to town. So you have to imagine that slowing down the run game is the key to this one. Oh, yeah, it's still the same. This, the, the rules still apply as last week. You have to stop Derrick Derek Henry for sure. You have to stop the run. Um, and I believe this defense is ready for that challenge. Mm. They, they are, especially at home in front of the 12th man. Yeah, that 12th man can bring a lot, especially yeah. when they're on defense. Absolutely. Now, the offensive players raved about the diverse looks and all the tricks that they can play on defense with Shane Waldron's new offense. You, as a quarterback, saw a lot on Sunday that I think a lot of us may have missed because we didn't play the position. But you saw Russell Wilson really get comfortable in this yeah. offense. Yeah. With, the, with an offense like what Shane Waldron is running, why does it make it so easy for Russ to get comfortable in, yeah. in this system. I think Russ looks real, real calm and poised back there. Um, I'm a firm believer uh, you got to work within the system. Mm. Um, you have to take what the defense gives you, too. Um, and if you have a, a, a route, cam route cam combination to where you have a man beater, you work that man beater side. Mm. Um, if you have a zone, you work the zone side. Um, you can see him getting the ball out fairly fast, mm -hmm. working within himself. Um, the sky's the limit for the offense, for sure. And you kind of can get the opportunity to take what the defense gives you, yes, right? Yes. That feels like a big thing because Russell Wilson on Sunday, I mentioned this, but he became the first player in NFL history to throw four touchdown passes in consecutive season openers. So he dazzles in the openers all the time. All the time. But he has really high expectations this year for MVP, for Super Bowl. So what do you want to see in week two as he continues to develop to get towards those goals? Yeah, I would like to hit for him to kind of really just continue to get stronger each week. Mm. Um, you know, the downfall for Russ is that he always starts strong. Yeah. But, you know, towards the, the back end of the season, um, production tends to kind of, you know, fall down a little bit. Mm. Um, but I'm a firm believer that, you know, this, this year would be something totally different. For sure. As quarterbacks, you try not to make the same mistake twice. Um, so you have to start strong and finish strong. And it feels like this offense really gives him every opportunity to do that. Yes, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Week two, about to get yes. underway. You don't go anywhere, my yes. friend, because nope. we have one of the freshest segments, actually the most fresh segment around, coming up in just a few minutes. 